Ha! <sighs> All right, y'all. Good to be back again. Once again, let's lock in. Shout out to the IPA. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Okay? South Korea is a great and fantastic place to visit from what I've seen so far. It's a great, wonderful overseas abroad experience for any black man, for any foreigner of any walk of life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great experience. It's worth it to just come in, have some fun, explore a little bit, see some things, do some things, and go on about your business. But this is not a place for your average foreigner to live. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. This is not necessarily the place for your average foreigner to live. And a lot of people are wonder why, Doc? Oh my God, South Korean, the beautiful women, all of this shit. Why in the world would you tell us black men and all of us traveling to South Korea that this is not a place to live? Ladies and gentlemen, the structure of how they do their renting in this country is crazy, right? How they rent apartments, how they sell apartments and things of that nature is something I've never seen before. Number one. And number two, it makes me extremely nervous about the process. You see, what they expect you to do up front is to put an exuberant, an absorbent, a whatever the number, whatever the word I'm looking for right now because it's late at night. They expect you to put a large amount of money down in order to reserve your contract for however long your apartment's going to be for. So... For example, they may say, hey, we need 50000 I shit you not, U.S. dollars in order for you to rent this apartment. This is your down payment. And it's not even a down payment because what it is is it kind of just, it's reserved, right? This is $50,000 you have to have up front in order to reserve this apartment for the two-year contract. But you're still paying the money every single month whatever it is maybe it's five seven five hundred seven hundred us dollars a month for you to rent it and prayerfully prayerfully i say that loosely prayerfully you get that 50 grand back after the satisfaction of the two-year contract not to mention they could take away money for this take away money for that whatever it may be maybe oh you did this or oh you left something or you know you didn't do something right here in the apartment so you need to be deducted or knocked off of that fifty thousand that you put down but nothing is guaranteed that you're going to get that in return especially as a foreigner even your average korean local cannot probably afford to rent an apartment here you know it's 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 almost like in the philippines to an extent um where people stay at home for you know until their older years right and i see nothing wrong with it at all but you'll have a son stay home to they're in their 30s mid 30s or something like that if they're unmarried right and i can see why now right it is damn near impossible for you to rent and have a place here, especially something to call your own, without it costing you so much upfront money that it makes me nervous to even recommend anybody coming here and living here. It's it's crazy as hell, right? It's something I've never seen before. It's a process I've never seen before, but because it's so ingrained in the culture and this is what they know, like me from the outside looking in or coming in, I'm thinking, yo, this is not right. 50 grand up front. Who in the world has $50,000 up front? Most of them don't. So what do they do? They go to the bank and they get a loan out, right? They get money out via a loan or something. And then they put that money. Uh, it's insured for the most part. And that's kind of how they protect themselves. But again, us foreigners, I don't think that works for us that way, right? That's why it's hard for me to even recommend, you know, you come and find an apartment to stay in because who knows what the owner's going to ask you upfront cost to be, especially if it's just you, the foreigner yourself, you know, if you have a local spouse or something, probably a little bit different, let her do the, you know, that uh, finagling and the um, haggling and all that shit. And maybe you can get that number down. But at the same time, it's just too much to bear, Right. 50,000 up front. And this is just a, a loose number. That number can go up as high as 100,000 up front cash that you have to put down in order to, you know, satisfy or be able to reserve the apartment to make it yours for however long the contract's going to be. 
right? And I just can't imagine your everyday average foreigner that's retiring just having that type of money, you know, up front or just laying around. I can't imagine anybody, especially somebody looking to move to Asia. I don't think you just got a hundred grand to just be putting down as a reservation for an apartment. Yes, you might have a hundred grand, but do you really want to put a hundred grand on an apartment? Right. And that's literally the only downside that I've seen so far as, you know, my experiences here in Korea. And again, this is just one city. I'm sure it's probably far more expensive in Seoul, where it's the capital city. But seeing the structure of how it is and what they're asking for in reference for you guys to actually be able to have an apartment. This isn't even owning a condo, mind you. This is just renting out an apartment. They say that condo prices, and I shit you not. Y'all gonna y'all gonna think I lost my mind. Y'all gonna think I lost my mind. Cause hearing it, it's hard for me to believe it. But then if I'm hearing fifty thousand up front, hundred thousand just to rent for the satisfied contract. I'm starting to believe that this number may not be too far fetched, but I've heard that some apartments are fetching upwards of half a million USD to even a million USD. Now, I'm going to give you a moment to let that sink in real quick. Half a million to a million dollars to buy an apartment here in one of the newer developments, of course, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I've seen some of the newer developments. They're nice. But they don't even have the damn same amenities as you would have in the Philippines. At least Philippines give you a swimming pool, right? Little gym area. Maybe there's some gym areas. But I ain't seeing them. I'm just seeing the apartments and the apartments alone. Not to mention the square meter, square meterage, if that's even a world word, excuse me. It's damn near about the same as the Philippines. Uh, my bad. My shit was playing. <laughs> anyway, um, make that make sense, y'all. Make that shit make sense, because I can't. And for the life of me, I couldn't even encourage no foreigner to actually live here. Unless you have work, that's different. And then <sighs> finding an accommodation via work is a little bit different as well, right? I mean, you might be able to find you a nice little spot once you actually get settled and you start talking to people and hopefully somebody puts you in a position where you can be around or near certain places for you to be able to rent properly. But I'm not going to I'm not going to bet my money on it, y'all. I'm just not going to bet my money on it because if that's what they're asking up front. And again, we're talking about for a decent apartment, right? Again, maybe it's a little bit different if you're <laughs> living in probably some of the rougher areas. Um, even then, as a foreigner, they may still ask you that type of money. And your average everyday foreigner just is not packing that type of money. The amount of money they're asking for is ridiculous. It's enough to make you say, bro, what the, what? <laughs> what, 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 what? what? Look, I like Korean women, but they ain't that bad, right? <laughs> but it also brings about a great, 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 great topic of conversation, right? You see a lot more, you know, Koreans traveling to the Philippines and setting up home base in the Philippines, right? No different than us average foreigners that actually love the Philippines and want to go there, setting up base there as well. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm starting to see the reasons why, right? Because the cost of living in Korea is crazy. And it's not so much the everyday travel. Because taking the metro and the bus and, you know, the train and stuff, that shit is cheap as hell. Right? Dollar here, a couple dollars there. Depending on what station you're getting off at. Right? That shit is nothing. Right? It's peanuts. Right? Food costs. Not even that bad. You know what I'm saying? About $20 a meal. $20 for two people to eat. You know, depending on what you eat. Not bad at all. But then you get into the cost of living, just just to live, like your space, your rental space. And then you start to realize, dog, it's 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 not worth it to me. It's just personally not worth it to me. I cannot see any of this being something that your average foreigner looking to travel to Asia in general is looking to, you know, participate in or even want to indulge in, right? Now, I know in Japan, they're selling their uh, rundown of the older houses to foreigners at decent prices. I guess it would be presumed to be decent. You know, they're allowing some foreigners to own land in that regard. And that's another story for another day. But specifically, as it relates to Korea, it's looking like it might not be 
the long-term plan. Yes, I would love for you to come out here and check it out. I have had a great moment, great time here, right? And so much more to come. But, you know, at the same time, it, it hurts me that this is what they're doing in reference to, you know, the guys or for people trying to look and get an apartment. I would recommend an apartel or something to that effect. If you're gonna actually live here, I would just rent out an apartel that's got small little kitchenette area and a bed, little studio, it ain't even an apartment, <laughs> right? It's just an apartel, right? Hopefully they give you a discount if you stay longer, but that would be the only play for me. If, I, if, I, if push came to shove, that seemed to be the only play that would be logical because what they're asking for up front is egregious and it's crazy and I can't imagine anybody being able to afford that and be willing to just put that type of money up just to reserve an apartment for them to rent so that hundred thousand just goes for the reservation and you're supposed to be able to get it back so you're still paying on it every single month whatever the actual cost is or whatever you know the cost of it is to rent that particular apartment in that area but let me know what you guys think man let me know if you think good doc you wanted something this is crazy blasphemous in nature like how dare they <laughs> right and they charging their own people this type of money so i can only imagine what they would be charging us if we was here by ourselves all right appreciate y'all liking it man it's just a good docs dumping his thoughts as they come to all right appreciate y'all liking it y'all take care man y'all stay blessed bro doc is out peace